Hello everyone and welcome to the first video in series on how to code your very own Batmobile. In this video, we'll guide you through some basic coding for your Bat controller, demonstrate how to run the code and how to restore firmware. If you are using CircuitBlox for the first time, check out our video on how to use CircuitBlox. We'll put the link in the description. Let's get started. The first thing you have to do is find the USB cable you received in your kit and prepare your laptop or PC. Connect the bat controller to the laptop and turn it on. Next, go to code.circuitmess.com. If this is your first visit to the site, you'll need to create the account. You have the option to either use your email and create a password or link it to your Google account. For those familiar with CircuitBlox, you'll find that not much has changed except that you can now code in Python. Let's begin by exploring the main menu. Here you'll find the button for creating the new sketch and next to it you'll have access to all your saved sketches in the future. Scrolling down, you'll see different examples we prepared for you. And at the top of the site, you can find the options to restore firmware and log out. Let's click on the new sketch button. In the device section, you can choose which device you are coding at the moment. Choose bed controller now. For the name of the sketch, let's keep it simple and call it bed controller since we will be focusing on coding that part. You'll also see the section labeled editor type where you'll be able to choose between visual and code. Opting for the visual option allows you to use colorful blocks for coding. Selecting code requires you to write code manually, just like the pros. We'll cover only the block coding part. Now you have to install MicroPython on your device and once you receive a green message saying it is installed, click finish. You are good to start coding. We'll learn how to play with push buttons and display on your bed controller. The goal is to display left pressed on bed controller's display once you press the left button and right pressed once you press the right button. We have a specific block defined for that and it is under the I.O. section. I.O. stands for input-output. Bed controller's buttons are so-called input devices because they send electrical impulse to the bed controller's computer once they are triggered. Bed controller's display is an output device because bed controller sends signals to display information. The first block we'll use from the I.O. section is when left pressed. Drag and drop this block onto the drawing window. If you click on left, you'll see that you can choose different buttons from your bed controller. You can either drag and drop another block of the same kind or right click on your mouse and select duplicate. The new block will have to say when right pressed. Now we want to make sure that when we press that particular button, the screen on your controller fills with one color so you can see the text better. For that, go to the display section and choose this fill frame with black block. Drag it inside the purple I.O. block. You can duplicate this block as well. While we stick with black for now, feel free to choose any color you prefer. To do so, simply click on black and the color palette will appear for you to select from. Now the main part, which is writing the text. Once again, head to the display section and choose this square shaped block, starting with right and drag it under the fill frame block. Just like for the rest of the blocks, you can duplicate this one and drag it under the other purple block. Let's focus on the left button for now. In the right section, enter left pressed, since that is the text we want to display once the left button is pressed. The X and Y are the coordinates saying where text will appear on the screen. For now, let's set both X and Y coordinates to 10, but feel free to experiment with different values. Next, specify the color of the text. We have chosen white. Now, let's move to the right purple block. 
right right breast using the same coordinates and text color as before. The last thing we'll put in this IO block is the push frame block. We put this block to make sure that screen's color changes and the text appears. The same block goes in the right IO block as well. Before we can test whether pressing this specific button triggers the desired event, we need to find the loop forever block. This block ensures that buttons are being scanned at all times. Please remember to use this every time you code something with buttons, otherwise it won't work. The loop forever button can be found here. Drag and drop it on the drawing area and look for the IO scan buttons block. Drag this IO block inside this loop forever block, just like this. You can now test everything by pressing the run button and then clicking the right and left button. This is what you should see on your bed controller. Thank you for watching and see you in the next guide.